How's that feel, Richard? Feels awesome. Looks awesome. What we got on there? 95, 94 in the ish pounds? Well, we had 94, yeah, so I don't know how much we've added, but probably at least a few ounces. A few ounces. Well, we added almost two, two grand a turns on here. We got yeah. over 100 to make. 182,000 so far. I don't know how much we got. No, well, we have, two, I was shooting originally for 234,000 turns. And so now... So we need to do about 50,000 turns, I think. So, yeah, so Richard repped <clears throat> most of this at his house. And then we tested it with uh, 182,000 or so, 180,000 or so turns, 94 pounds. Now uh, he shipped a 44-pound spool. And then he shipped himself out here on a frontier plane. And uh, we rigged up uh, this apparatus. So this is a uh, treadmill motor that I've removed the flywheel. And I'm actually using the backside. And uh, Richard brought the pulleys and the shaft, and then we hooked up, uh, rigged up this piece of plywood and this counter. And, uh, and then the box I got here is something I built when I was 12, 13, 14, something like that, from my memory. And uh, yeah, if you look at the top, it has gyroscope written on it. That's a project that I never quite finished yet. You'll see it when I eventually finish it. I had plans back in the day. So it's running the treadmill motor. The counter is just a, uh, a hulse, or I mean a reed switch in that ink pen right there. You can see the magnet going by. And the interesting part is you never spin a spool this big. This thing weighs 44 pounds. You normally unwrap it standing up like this, which poses a whole strange set of problems. You can see how the wire is gyroing off there. So this is just to keep the wire under control, otherwise it slaps Richard in the legs or something. <laughs> or the face, depending on where I'm at. <laughs> Man, that's a... That's a beast, so this is this is basically Richard's hand-wrapped beast. He's wrapped the whole thing so far. And then the other coil, it will be wrapped by uh, a different company with a different wire, and it's all going to be different, but it's basically the same dimensions, and it'll have 160 pounds on it. This guy will have about 135 or so. 138. Uh, Newman's original was 145. 45, 145. Uh, 145. From my, well, there's a few variations, but that one was 145. But anyway, so this is my secret laboratory somewhere in Nevada. Some temporary lights up. Area 52. And uh, it's exactly just a little after four something, according to that clock. <laughs> got my printer in here. My wife's hanging out. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. I got the giant magnet over here. There I am without a hat. And the big magnet and commutator. I'm going to work on that while Richard wraps this coil. Got the oscilloscope set up. A few 9 volts. Got the meters. And, uh, yeah, we're just working away. I got the live chat here projected. Thanks to uh, um, George sent me this... Uh, back uh, about a year ago and I haven't been able to use it yet I haven't had a good setup for it so uh, so thank you and now we've got a, a simple setup for the chat so we can see what we're doing and it's a beautiful site so I think uh, I'm gonna just post this as an update video for you guys because I haven't even published anything on my main YouTube channel about this experiment but um, <laughs> but this is the this is the setup currently um, and I got some other unboxings of this if I ever get to it I gotta edit all that but uh, I'll show you the magnet and the commutator since I haven't even published anything on the main channel about this but yeah here's the uh, here's the ginormous magnet and uh, commutator that I'll be posting a video on the commutator uh, but anyway 
This is the temporary setup that we've got running right now. It's pretty sweet. Got some of my stuff in here at the moment. But yeah, this is a, uh, for those of you who don't know, a Newman replication. And uh, yeah, that's only a handful of nine volts there. Huh? And these are carbon zinc. These are carbon zinc. So if you guys want to keep up to date on what I've been doing, make sure you subscribe to the live channel where we are currently live. And uh, then you'll actually understand what we're doing at all times because it takes a lot of work to publish these videos and I haven't had the time and it's been crazy and, uh, you know, one day at a time. <laughs> That's a monster. We're at 200 RPM right now. Uh, you run this at 300 normally? Uh, I did when it was smaller, but I, yeah, uh, now it's yeah. bigger. Throwing a lot of throwing a lot of wire on there faster. Yeah, I mean it's moving out pretty good right now. The wire is. I mean I I don't have any way to measure the speed of the wire, but yeah, I took the counter off of the. Uh, that's a 44 pound spool. I took the counter. Off of uh, that was the actual weight of the copper. That number on that spool is the actual weight of the copper. Oh, 44. There. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's a bit of a mess in here. But yep. So uh, one turn at a time. Whew. That's a monster. 13 inches long, close to 13 long, and uh, 12 foot or 12 inch diameter. We won't fill it up. No, we won't fill it up. And uh, like I said, I have another one that will be wrapping, but not by hand. It'll be professionally done as opposed to amateur. Am what an amateur. <laughs> Look at that smile. I'm an amateur. I'm not getting paid, so I'm an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they do it, right? That's how they do it. All right, well. I guess uh, that's it. That's your update. I have a, a full build video coming of the commutator, but I don't know if, when or if I'm ever going to get the darn thing edited. I have so much, so much in a little time. So, uh, you know, yep, that's it. God bless you guys. Have a good day. And hey, you're not eating. I was drinking coffee. Oh, okay, that counts. <laughs> For some reason, my wife is always eating in every one of these video clips. I love food. I love food. I love food. All right, I, I love food. All right, see you later. Do I have any coffee left in my cup? Thank you. You want it? Yeah. How do you do it? Mmm, coffee. I'm going to need a lot of that.